Okay. To, so, to tell you, every job is completely different. Every job pays different. Okay. So, uh, okay. So, like I, like I said, I got me personally, I got six years. But you did mention that you can help drivers get that. So, is it like a, is it like a contract that you that 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 a driver will have to sign and work for you guys for a year, or how how would that work? Well, I mean, if he wants his schooling paid for, he can sign a contract. But if he doesn't want to sign a contract, he absolutely does not have to. Um, that's up to him. But in order to pay for the school, um, then then he would need to sign a contract. We just want to make sure that we're not paying. You know, we we'd go out of business. You know, we'd be upside down. You know, if we paid for everybody's school and then didn't have them work for us. So, you if you finish a full year with us, we'll pay for your school. If you do not finish the full year, we won't pay for anything. Gotcha. But okay. we don't make you sign a contract. If you'd rather just pay for it yourself, then you could do that, and there's no contract needed. It's only if you need our financial help and you want us to pay for the school in, in, in full that you'll need to sign a year contract. Okay. Other than that, and we give you the option orientation. We don't actually have you sign that until you get to orientation. Then we have an uh, individual, I think his name is Melvin. He's great at what he does, and he'll come in and explain our program to you and tell you. I like to tell drivers ahead of time so we're not setting them up to fail you know, what the program is about, you know, and, and again, you, it's kind of like if we, we pay you like $250, we, we pay up to 5000 okay, mm -hmm. we pay $250 a month um, for 11 months. The 12th month, you get what, whatever's left, so it depends on how much your school costs. Some schools cost 3500 some cost 5000 but we pay $250 a month. If you do not finish that year, you have to pay that $250 a month back, so he doesn't want you to sign the contract unless you truly want to do it. Right, because you do have to give us a full year. Now, I believe that you can move around jobs. You don't have to stay in over the road position mm -hmm. in order to stay with us. You know, we are not going to make you be over the road for a full year. Some companies will do that. Some companies will say, well, yeah, but we were all over their sign on bonuses. We'll only pay you this much or that much if you do not. Um, um, stay on this account, and we're we're not like that. We, we want you to to you know we want you to move around. Our vice president Marcus is amazing, and he um, he really likes for us to you know to be uh, help drivers take the the career to where they want it to be. So okay, That's... there's no time limit on what job. If you want to switch three jobs in one month, he'll let you do it. I work for a company, and and I won't say names right now, but it was a major carrier. Love the company, great company. But they did not let you do that. So I was surprised to hear that just recently, that he would let you do that. And probably as we grow, that may change in time. We'll have to put some, some rules on it. But right now, we're not putting a limit on, you know, you switching jobs to different uh, accounts as you as you progress. Once you get your finisher, if you need a finisher because you need training, um, and our, wakes, our trainers are awake while they're training you, then you'll go through that through the truckload side. But after that, if there's a local position or a dedicated position you'd rather be on after your finisher is done with you, we only have finishers for over the road. And, okay, after you're done with your finisher, if you were supposed to do a regional or a dedicated job um, and you wound up having the three months minimum that it takes, uh, then we'll let you move to another account. Like some company, some drivers will have prior experience, but we'll make you go with a finisher because you haven't had enough recent experience in the last, say, eight months. You haven't drove, you drove two months over eight months ago. So we're going to count the experience because we verified it, but we need three months, you know, of experience to get you into a dedicated. So therefore, you can actually start on the regional side, go with the finisher for a month, then go on your own for a month. Yeah, that will give you the three months counting the two months that you had and then you can move to a dedicated so it, it, it's so it, every 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 account's different every driver is uniquely different but we try to be fair to everyone okay so. okay awesome awesome okay so i mentioned yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. i mentioned pay before i mean when we first started i i did mention the pay um mm -hmm. what a sure what and you said it's like different so it's it's like different divisions that you guys have for for various Absolutely. various yeah. pay accounts so if i wanted so do you guys do like what right. uh flatbed do you got a reefer drive in or or what is it mm -hmm. we have yeah we have we have drive in we have reefer we have tanker we have um 
I, I'm not certain that we have fuel. I know that we've bought up a few companies. I, I believe that we uh, had bought UPS Freight. Don't quote me on any of this. I worked here 12 years ago for eight years almost. I went to another carrier for nine years. Again, great company, another carrier for six months, and I've been back here since September. So I'm familiar with the trucking industry. I've got almost 20 years' experience uh, doing this, but um, but, I, but I'm still trying to get you know familiarized with CFI's exact specifics. So I'm, I'm getting better and better at that since September, since I started. But um, but yeah, we have a uh, drive-in, reefer, tanker, flatbed. We have all four of those divisions. Uh, okay. Local, dedicated, over the road. We have it all. Uh, now it just depends on your location where you're at. Can Can you just give me a ballpark starting for each division? Is that possible? Tough to do that. Uh, it'd be It'd be a ballpark um, for sure. It's going to be anywhere's. Uh, you know, if you're a, if you're a finisher, while you're on the truck with the finisher, okay. It's thirty-two cents a mile, and that sounds horrible. I get it. Yeah. See if I gives really good miles. Okay. See if I gives really good but miles. This, so but let's this just say you got for, twenty-five hundred miles. But this, average. But that's but that's for new drivers. You you a mentioning starter. yeah you mentioning brand 30, new yeah for new uh-huh. drivers. But what will be a ballpark no, for sir. you know okay. what will be a ballpark for somebody like me coming in? So that one's going to average around eight hundred. For brand new drivers, just while you're at the finisher, then you'll move up and pay once you get to your own truck. After that, you're going to make anywhere from 38 to 46 cents a mile. We give really good miles here, okay? That's if you want regional over the road. You can make a dollar a mile, but a dollar a mile is still zero, right, if you don't get any miles or whatever miles you get, right? So awesome. miles are important just as much as uh, just as important as pay. With that said, we also have teams, and we actually have team freight. There's a difference. Some people hire teams, but they don't have team freight. They don't have team miles. We do, okay? Which is also means it's really good for a solos because solos is going to get as much nonstop legal freight as they want to get. Again, I, I, I promote the legal part. So you're going to gross around um, anywhere from 1000 to, you know, 13 1400 as a regional or the road driver. You're going to get anywhere from probably 11 50 1200 to as high as 2000 a week for some local dedicated accounts. It's all going to depend on your endorsements. How hard you want to run? Um, it, I've seen accounts that pay um, gross anywhere from fifteen hundred base minimum, and some of those drivers earn are uh, you know over two thousand a week. But again, that's six months' experience at least. It depends if you're touch and freight, no touch freight. Touch freight is always going to pay more than no touch freight. Drivers you typically don't want to touch freight. Not all drivers are like that. But if you want to do electric pallet jack lift gate. Those are the guys who are going to make anywhere from fifteen hundred to two thousand a week. I've got jobs that pay eighty thousand. I've got jobs that pay you know fifty five thousand. The low end is fifty five thousand a year. The high end is going to be over a hundred thousand a year. It all depends on your location, how much experience you have, what endorsements you have. Hazmat is key. I, I encourage all drivers to get hazmat because it pays an extra six cents per mile for hazmat. You know that's a lot. Um, and if, if if we don't make drivers get it, that means the little, you know, we don't have a, a lot of hazmat. We do have quite a bit. That means all the drivers that don't get it, you get to have more hazmat loads than the other guys. So that means one of every three loads or one of every four loads is going to be hazmat load. So that's going to put you, promote your pay quite a bit. Or you can say, hey, I want all as many hazmat loads as I can possibly get, right? So it, it's just, I say, there's so many. I'm, like, I'm looking at, you know, I've got a local dedicated, based on your zip code, local dedicated uh, shuttle job. That I'm looking at, you know, um, that one's going to pay and you're going to need, I believe, six months experience. And that one's going to pay $23 an hour to start. And then you go out from there. I'm not counting any extra pay bonuses and all that. Just just pure minimum base, $23 an hour. Um, okay. That, that one's not bad. You know, that, that's kind of average, you know, but you get more than 40 hours a week. I don't believe the trucking industry, you know, how the hours of service work at these CDL holders know this, you typically do not get time and a half after 40. If you can find a company that pays it, it's probably a smaller mom and pop company, and hey, great, so be it. But you can get as much hours as you want that's legal. You know you know how many hours you can do a day. Is it like 10 if you're running on recap? It's 11 uh, on just drive time. If it's a 14-hour day, then you know with the drive time and the hour, you're looking at 23 an hour times 14 hours, up to 14 hours. So that's just a start. But we give you automatic raises 
every six months to every year, again, depending on the job. So that's just one job I'm looking at Okay. in your area. All right. All right. So, so of course, this would this company W two. But do you guys offer like any uh, lease purchase or lease or ten ninety nine programs yeah. there? We do. We do. We have all that. We have um, we have ten ninety nine. If you want to use your own authority, and you want to, um, and, and, and you have to. Don't quote me on that one because uh, Anita is the one that does our. Um, lease purchase. I think Christina helps with that. They're both fantastic. Anita's been here 16, 17 years. She's wonderful. She worked here when I worked here the first time. I love this company. Love her. Uh, she's fantastic. She would want to talk to Anita here or Christina. But um, I believe before, I know that you they'd like you to use our authority. When you use our authority, you're still going to be at you know, a 1099. Okay. And you can you have your own truck and go through your own bank. And if you want assistance in that, we have several companies, I believe, that we work with. Anita could tell you about those. And um, we'll help you get uh, finance in a truck or tell you what you need to, to, to be at to do it. I don't think it takes, you know, arm and leg. I don't know if your your credit score or what it needs to be at. I think it can be pretty low, actually. Maybe it's a 500, 580. That's pretty low. I, again, don't quote me on any of this. I just know it's going to be up to those individuals that the companies that we use and we, that we work with. It's going to be on based on what they their what what they require. Okay. But we'll help help with you. You know, we'll help in that in that situation for sure. So okay. Anita, so we do have that, and I can't tell you about the pay on that because that one I haven't even started getting into. So okay, okay, so we'll just stick with the uh, company driver side. Um, what benefits do you guys offer? We have everything. Um, I worked for a Fortune 500 company before in trucking. Um, again, good company. Have nothing negative to say about them. This one is that I'm, I'm not. I don't believe this is a Fortune 500 company in the U.S. You know, I, I think we're a parent company again. Is out of Canada, but it has the benefits of a Fortune 500 company. Um, some companies offer, you know, no holidays. Some companies offer the standard six holidays. We have eight paid holidays here. So everything's just a little better here. Um, we have um, the standard six, you know, which is, you know, Christmas, um, Thanksgiving, New Year's Day, and then you got the three and around the, you know, the spring and the summer. You got the Labor Day, you got the Memorial Day, and you got the, the, the Fourth of July. Here you also get Black Friday and you get, um, I believe, Christmas Eve. So we have eight paid holidays, and that's, I believe it's $60. That's for company drivers, $60, whether you're on or off the road, you get that extra on your check. We like to have get all of our drivers home for Christmas. I believe we don't like our trucks to run unless the account requires us to after 6 p.m. on, on New Year's Eve. So, again, uh, 401K is at 6%. We have great medical. We have dental, vision, uh, life insurance. It, it's We've got it all. Paid vacation. It's, it's We've got it all. It, Awesome. If you know of some, you know, companies that have all the benefits, we have those and, and then some and everything. Again, just seems just a little bit better. The insurance is a great price. So awesome to me, I just, you know, that's why I came back here. I love this company. So. Awesome. Okay. Okay. That's, that's what's up. That's, that sounds good. I, I think uh -huh. that's, you know, yeah. something that a few drivers uh, is looking for. So listen, I, um, I, I had a, well, past tense i had a friend and she drove for you guys uh i think she did maybe a little maybe about a year or two but she did a video of of coming in to you guys and and for y'all uh -huh. for y'all drug for y'all pre uh pre-employment drug testing you guys do urine and hair follicles right we do yes oh uh, yes. okay yep. now Let's keep our you know the the, the truck safe, you know, the the road safe. Anyway, now as far as the hair follicle, that's a uh, that's company, but the urine is the one that that CSA uh, cr uh, criteria, right? That's correct. Yes. Okay, so my question is this, and I yes. do know I knew a few I knew a few drivers that you know we we talked about this topic in the Facebook group. Um, sure. If if a driver, you know, for some odd reason, don't pass the, the drug test and it gets reported to the clearinghouse, do you guys have a SAP program for the for the drivers that's in the clearinghouse that's coming back out of it? 
Um, we, I do know there's a time frame, and, I, and I, this is a this is just a guess for the most part. I, I, I think I've heard it a couple times, maybe here, but I just don't remember. And I could be getting my company fixed up, but um, I, I, it probably we do. I think we do take SAP. Um, it needs to be probably. Um, Possibly five years old. Possibly, don't quote me on that. It could be less, but I would think at least five years old. And they do need to do need to complete the full program, I believe. Um, SAP's tricky. You know, when you go through SAP, you're also supposed to be part of a, a random drug and alcohol consortium. You got to keep driving. First, you got to find a company that's going to take it, and then you got to be part of that random testing for a full year. And a lot of drivers don't fulfill it. They just do the first portion of it, and then they quit. So make sure that if you have that issue i mean talk to us let me get the exact information from our compliance department and make sure you follow it step by step that's the best advice i can give you but i believe that we do work with that i just don't know the time frame just yet awesome. again my name's stephanie you're more than welcome to call me and i'll get the exact answers for you awesome awesome all right so home time uh every if i if i work uh regional if in my area or in the area uh, would you guys get me home uh, every weekend or do I got to stay out? Yeah, tell, I'll repeat that again. I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, home time is is uh, regional. Mm -hmm. uh, am I able to get home every weekend or or do you guys require me to stay out a couple of weeks? Okay, well, we're regional and over the road. So regional, it depends on your location again. We have a super regional East Coast that's going to be out. That will be out 14, 16 days. Okay. Um, so, but you're st you're running like I think your highest up you run is Pennsylvania, and you're going to do a lot of Southeast. So, Florida, the Carolinas, Tennessee, Georgia, you know, I like, Alabama, I like that. Um, on up to. Yeah, but now with the regional, we got different regionals. We got the super regionals, and we got the, just the, the, the standard regionals. Like if you're in the in the down in Texas, or in, if you're say you're in um, Oklahoma, we've got something in Missouri. We've got something that's going to have you out um, home every seven to ten days. We're human. Our dri we have some of the best driver managers out there and the best planners. We try. We definitely would like to try to get you home. Um, every seven days. It's not always going to fall on the weekend though. Um, we have to get you home within 10 days. So, I mean, to say that we get you home on the regional every weekend is, is not accurate. Um, you're going to you're going to get some weekends home though. If, if you have a 10 hour break coming to you and you happen to be close to the house and you're out of hours, we don't care if you spend it at the house, you know, but we can't guarantee that. Um, on the, over the road, it's, it's 14, 21 days out, one day for every seven. I believe our time off, when you go home, your time off is free that day, and the time off starts at 7.30 a.m. The next day, again, I, I, I would rather, if someone calls us, you know, make sure that we're um, verifying that, um, but that's how it was when I worked here before, and I believe that's how it is now. But you get the rest of that day kind of free, and then you get one day for every seven. Okay, awesome. That All you're right. out. So you're out at least the seven days. So it's not going to happen every weekend on the regional, but it's going to happen some weekends. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so what about the equipment you guys uh, offer, and what's the governance speed? Um, you know, it's uh, Kenworth T680s, um, governed at 65. I know we used to be governed at 68 and 70. I don't know that that's the case anymore, but I know we're at least covered at 65, maybe 67 on the, on, you know, 65 to, uh, to 67. Um, Kenworth G680s, super nice equipment. Uh, we have, a, I believe, the XM radio that we pay for. Um, there's the inverters already wired in or wh what have you. We don't want you to put them in. We want to be the ones to do it. Um, so very nice equipment. We, we are known for our equipment. For right. sure. Now, as far as us buying up other companies, their equipment came along with that. And uh, that, now, when we bought Transport America, and we're, you know, we completely, tra there is no Transport America anymore. It's all CFI. Whoa, when we bought whoa, Transport whoa, America. Whoa, 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 um, whoa, 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 hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. You, you, you just threw, threw a curveball my way. Transport America <laughs> out yeah. of out of Minnesota Transport America, right? Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I believe so. so you can 
So see, yeah. So see if see if I gobbled up Transport America. How long ago was that? You know, I want to say that happened a couple of years ago, but I think we finally merged in November where we were trying to actually get everything together. And so there's for, with the, the, a lot of the dedicated, they had a lot of dedicated, that's where we're getting our dedicated. Because CFI for, for years have, has just been over the road in some regional. Um, we started dabbling, they started dabbling in, in the Transport America, and they had a lot of dedicated. So they kind of uh, taken over that. So that's where all a lot of these accounts are going to come from, these dedicated accounts. And I tr- we try not to say the actual names. I may have said name earlier, but we try not to say the actual names until, until unless you call us, you know. Um, but uh, you know, and, and ask specifically. But yeah, do we? I think UPS freight was something that happened as well. And then recently with DNT Sexton, and there might have been a couple other. Although I, I can't keep up with it. I'm still learning, just like you. <laughs> but I can assure you, I'll get to the point where I, I know, uh, you know, I know as much as I can possibly know about this company. Wow. But, but yeah, they're they're on fire. They're uh, I, 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 they're I, growing, I, I, and that's why I say they're going to be a big big company. Look, man, I I just can't I I just can't with you guys no more. It's like it's like when I call one company, because like I said, I do my research all the time because, you know, I'm involved Uh with my Facebook group and I like to give, you know, I like to do this and give not only information for myself, but get information to my other to my other network of drivers that I network with. And when somebody be like, well, yeah, you know, I want to I want to talk to uh, uh, Transport America and, and this company and that company only to come to find out that you guys are up under the same umbrella. So let me let me ask you this right yeah. quick. So what if what if a driver uh previously worked for Transport America uh, and decides to come over to CFI, would he have to go through the I mean, would he have to go through the process all over again? I believe so. Yeah. I mean, there's some, I believe that we did not take and some that we, you know, that we did take that they didn't possibly, you know, if, but if you're not, if you're not, if you're are, um, not eligible with, uh, transfer America, you won't be eligible for CFI and vice versa. But, you know, we also look at every account, a case by case. So you always want to call if you haven't been eligible before, it doesn't mean you're not gonna be eligible now, or you can call me again. My name's Stephanie. You can call me. I'm going to talk you through it. I'm going to tell you everything that I can find out and let you know. You know, this is what I would do and give you the, some of the best advice I can possibly give you. I, I, I appreciate um, but, that. You know, I'll, I'll we, definitely let I'll yeah. definitely let my guys know. All right. Uh, driver, driver facing we, cameras. We look at everything as a whole. Oh, OK. OK. That's oh, you know what we do. We do. We do um, inside and out. And I know a lot of drivers don't like the inside ones. I get it. Um, but uh, it only comes on if there's an event. So it's not like, like they're watching you while you're driving down and down the road and you're, you know, needing to, you know, scratch your head or something. They're not watching you. And an event has to happen. And I don't know exactly everything that makes an event happen, you know, um, but it's an event that happens. And um, that's when it records both the inside and the outside. I guess they want to know that you're not on your cell phone texting while you're driving, which you shouldn't be if an event happens and that's what made you not see it. But most more times than not, it's, it's not the driver. It's not the truck driver. It's, it's a, it's a POV or it's another uh, car, you know, that's pulling out in front of you. And it's actually saved a lot of truck drivers careers. So we do it more for the driver and the company than we do it, you know, and we want to keep everybody safe out there. We don't want to hire a driver that's on their cell phone, but more times than not, uh, we're, what we're realizing all those drivers that have originally said, Hey, this POV pulled out in front of me, this puller pulled in front of me, they were correct. So we do it to protect you. And, and they're going to celebrate the fact that you can't, and a lot of drivers that'll happen. And they, they, they still was so alert. Our drivers were so alert that they prevented the, the accident from happening. So therefore, you know, they celebrate that here. So it's a good thing, but know that when that truck, and, and the truck has to be moving. If the truck is stopped, the camera is not on. So when you are in your cab of your truck, let's just say you're in the cab of the truck and you want to put something over it. I mean, don't again, don't quote me on this, but you want to put something over it. Um, it, it definitely doesn't hurt to do that. I wouldn't think because when it's moving, it's not recording. So know that when you're on the you're in the cab of your truck, you're you're you've done your your driving time. We're not we're not here to watch you in the cab of your truck. 
I would think you could put something over that because it's not going to matter because they can't see you anyway unless an event happens and, and it doesn't record at all and not supposed to record when you're not moving. So if you feel better covering that up, and I probably still would, I, I would do that, you know. But when you're, you can't forget to take it off, you know, when you're going down the road because they want to know what you're doing when that, that accident happens. Gotcha. Okay. Or is, that potential accident. Is so. there is there a sign-on bonus? On some accounts there are and some there are not. Most there is. And it, it, it ranges anywhere from, from oh gosh, 10000 for each driver if you're a team, um, 6500 for a regional and OTR, and then it's anywhere from 500 or to 2000 8000 for some of our dedicated accounts. So it just depends. How is we it? Have, like if you come on board here and you get hazmat after you start, we'll give you $2,000 on some accounts. Not all accounts. Every account is so uniquely different. How, how is it paid out? In a reasonable amount of time, um, it's every again. It's always different, and, and because we're merging with Transform America, they paid it out a little different. I think there's just like forty five dollar, forty five days every forty five days, or something like that. You know, one after your first dispatch, like the five hundred dollar one is after probably your first solo dispatch, but the one that is like eight thousand, I think it's paid out over a year's time. So okay, so that again, it's it's more like a, a retention bonus more than a sign on bonus, I guess. Uh, you know, I was just about to ask you to be honest on that because if it's paid out over a, a long period of uh -huh. time, would that just be considered a retention bonus instead of a sign-on bonus? Yep. You are absolutely right. That is absolutely right. We don't have much of a of a sign-on bonus. We like to call it a retention bonus because it is what it is, right? We want you to stay with us, but we also want to take care of you financially. We don't want someone to come on board just for the, you know, paid up. You know, we're, I've seen some companies pay a lot right out in the beginning. Well, you're just setting yourself to, up to fail as, as a as a company. You know, you can only afford so much of that. You know, I've seen 10,000 sign-on bonuses. But then they don't get that many miles, you know, and, you know, you get a lot of up front. You got those drivers that are going to take that money and they're going to run. They're going to just do hop, hop in each around each company. Be careful for that. Um so, but it, but it is to keep you on board. You know, these companies have to protect themselves as well. All right. Well, thank you very much, Miss CSI. Uh, CSI. You're CSI. Yeah, CFI. Yeah. CFI. That's okay. Um, I, I like CSI too. It's a good show. I know, right? <laughs> I really do appreciate you taking the time and uh, going over the company with me. Thank you very much. I, I, I honestly appreciate it. You're welcome, it. Sean. I would definitely take this back to my okay. CDL, uh, CDL Careers group on Facebook, which you can go ahead and uh, look mm -hmm. up. And I will take this back to my social media outlet as What's well. What's it called? It's called CDL CDL CDL, what? CDL Careers on Facebook. Okay. Um, okay. And uh, I will do that. I will definitely take that uh, back with me. So again, thank you very much. Um, again, you guys do. Yeah, no problem. You you guys do help drivers because February seventh is coming. So you guys do help drivers uh, get uh -huh. their license. But again. Uh, it, they will have to stay with you for a year and then they'll get paid back. It's not like they're going to get paid back throughout the time. Would they get they would they get their full fare? Um, well, I would encourage you to, to look at different, you know, uh, state programs first off because a lot of state programs are going to help you. But if you if you want us to do it, we'll do it. Um, you might have to get the financing at first. Uh, if it's through a state program, we're not going to reimburse it. But if you have to finance it, we do pay in, uh, starting right out of the gate. We Every month, we pay you an extra 200 Uh-oh. I think I lost Good month. So that's going to add up to 2750 And then you get the lump sum up to 5000 left, left, which is, what, $3,250 on, on month 12. But if you do not finish that 12 months with us, you have to pay – the two hundred fifty dollars a month that you collected, so you might want to put it on a on a you know on a separate account, or know that you got to pay it back. So we do start giving it to you two hundred fifty dollars a month, okay. but you have to finish it, or we're going to ask for that money back because you didn't finish the year. So you don't get to keep the two fifty, and then we just don't pay the rest. You have to pay it all back to us that we've given you. Ooh, that's 
That's ugly. All right. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. I really do appreciate it. Um, right. the, you know, the phone number that uh, that showed up, please text me all of your information so I can add that into the group as well, please. Yeah, I'll give my direct information. As well, I'm Stephanie Hargis, but yeah, I'll I'll give you that too. So. All right, okay. I, I appreciate that. Thank you, ma'am. 